What you don't see is the best in my mind, but if you liked Undersoil and Dirt or Proper Dose more than this one, I can see how. What you don't see just has a warm, fuzzy spot in my heart. It's my comfort album. It represents a time where for the first time in my life, I was comfortable in my own skin and confident. So when I put this album on, that nostalgic highlight reel just plays in my brain. I'm sure that there's a lot of you out there who have an album that does that for you too. So because I have so many positive memories imprinted on this album, the most difficult part for me is separating myself from those memories and listening to this record with fresh ears. And that's what this 30 days, 30 albums, March sadness bracket is all about. So I tried to do that. I tried to find things on this album that maybe I had never noticed before. I tend to have selective deafness to drums and bass, so I tried to focus on that while revisiting this record. So I was paying special attention to Kellen on bass and Torf on drums. And even though this didn't give me a groundbreaking revelation of what you don't see, it was an effective way to engage with this album in a different way than I ever had before. I was finally able to separate myself from 2013 memories after the fourth or fifth listen of this album, and that's when things really started to get interesting for me. What I realized was that this album was putting me in a noticeably bad mood. What You Don't See is a very angry album, it's relentless and nonstop. It never pulls back to give you space to breathe. It never settles into a soothing atmosphere. It's just fast drums and loud guitars. It's harsh vocals from Parker that you could say are one note. What I never noticed before was how toxic and selfish some of these lyrics are. They're scornful, biting, distrustful. And don't worry, I'm not about to write off this album because of that. It's just my interpretation. And if you think I'm wrong, I'd love to hear about what your interpretation of these lyrics are. From my perspective, what you don't see captures the knee-jerk reactions that represent the worst of us when we feel wronged by someone. There's lots of blame being thrown around here with low regard for self-growth. This is a mentality that has poisoned parts of my life. And maybe that's why some of the lines here caused me to spiral back into an unhealthy headspace. So that's the weird part for me. When I think about this album, it reminds me of my best years, but when I listen to it and really focus on what it's saying, it makes me grumpy. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I'm not trying to imply either that this is bad lyricism. There are gems that I didn't pick up on before, like how Empty Space, The Glass, All Wrong, and Bad Luck all fit together lyrically. And listening to this album on repeat has reinforced The Glass, Small Talk, and Framework as some of my favorite The Story So Far songs of all time. Framework closes the album on kind of a hopeful note, saying, uh, however long you're gone, I will wait. It even says, there's nothing I hate more than pushing you away from my fucked up attitude. It's almost an admission that the vocalist has a lot to work on. What continues to work for me after all these years, and the main appeal of The Story So Far, in my opinion, is Parker Cannon's vocals. He just crushes it. The vocals are harsh, but not too growly or guttural. Parker has a knack for writing scream-along, catchy choruses that pair perfectly with a punchy choice of words. Yelling along to them is very cathartic and satisfying, and every chorus on What You Don't See is simple and effective. Especially, of course, Empty Space's unforgettable title drop and chorus. <laughs> I mentioned before how I was trying to pay attention to the drums, and wow, Torf's drumming is absolutely dizzying here. Just tons of energy and personality. There's a lot going on on what you don't see. It's like every member of the band was told to play fast, to play loud, and to play a lot. And if that's the case, I think they nailed it. However, that chaos can feel a little bit wild, which is perfect to get you moving in the gym, but maybe will give you a headache if you listen to this too many times in a row. My Yart says that What You Don't See is a pop punk classic, but My Yed says that if I had to pick one out of the story so far as catalog, Under Soil and Dirt probably tops it in the pop punk classic category. Which one is it for you, if either? The next album in the 30 Days 30 Albums Challenge is going to be in a playlist right here. Hope to see you over there. Thanks for watching.